day one here in Algonquin. We just woke up. Where's my tripod? All the boys just got up. I like, barely slept. Mario slept like a baby. I slept so well. <laughs> yeah, right now Alex is starting a fire. Mario and Alex are over there getting the food bag down from a tree. Pretty high up. There are bears in Algonquin, so we have to hang our food. We have to, uh, whenever we cook, we have to clean up. No garbage around their campsite. It's actually a lot of work. Day one breakfast plan. Eggs. Mario's cooking up some bacon. <laughs> Looking good. Put it like across the cut a little bit together. So today is episode one of the series that we're making. There's okay. Alex. Matt's over here. Uh, right, right there. We're probably gonna go fishing today. We made a pretty awesome campsite here. Give um, you guys a campsite tour later. Yeah, we're gonna do a campsite tour. We might go explore another island over there. There's a there's an island right behind me. This is a this is an island right here, and we might go check that out because um, there's just a single campsite on it and it's pretty large. But I mean, we made ourselves a pretty nice campsite so far. We'll see. Breakfast is all over, and there's Matt. What? Right now, I'm getting the fishing rod ready. We're gonna go fishing later. Hopefully, catch the fish. If it's big enough, maybe we'll eat it. But if it's too tiny, we'll just throw it back. We didn't film ourselves coming in because uh, all our cameras were packed into our backpacks. I think we're going to do a campsite tour now. Do you think so? Here is our first day one Algonquin 2016 campsite tour. Welcome to Algonquin Cribs. This is the campsite. We'll start over here. This is our campfire little grill on it. This is where we do our cooking. We cooked hot dogs yesterday and we cooked some bacon and eggs this morning. It's surrounded by these nice beautiful logs that we cut down ourselves and uh, yeah it's a nice little sitting area. Come this way I'll bring you to our tent. This is our tent. This is the Taj Mahal tents. It's a 10 person tent. We put up this tarp the other day. All right, we'll continue on this way over here. This is our clothing rack, our drying rack. We hang our life jackets and kitchen supplies here, along with anything that needs to be dry, or towels or bathing suits. We have our water jugs over there. Without those, we would die. Over here, this is the bathing hole. We have two canoe locations, one right here and one over there. Right here is where we do dishes and where we bathe as well. Bathrooms are right up here. You gotta poop, that's the way you go. You gotta pee, that's the way you go. Our second canoe site. This is our standing bar. We come and have a few drinks here every night. And this is probably the most important place of all. This is our food bank. This is where our food gets hung. We have a pulley right up there and a rope leading towards that tree. This is where we hang our food at night so that the bears don't get it. Oh, should we talk about the bee story too? Oh, yeah. yeah. Welcome to story time with Chris and Mario. 
So yesterday when we got to our campsite, we both had to use the washroom. It, it was it was a number two. So to take a number two out here, you have to dig yourself a nice big hole. So we were looking for the proper spot. I thought I found myself a nice little spot where I could dig a nice little hole. But as soon as I started digging, a, f a ton of bees started flying out of this hole and chased us all the way back to the water. I wonder if we can go see it. Let's go try to see it. Let's go check it out. This is the site of the great bee attack. I don't even want to go close to it. Like, it was nuts. We're not going to disturb it. <coughs> oh. Oh. I'm going to switch over to the GoPro now because we are about to go canoeing and fishing. So hopefully we catch something. Let's go! back now fishing wasn't a success Chris is going to go try fishing from the shore we just had lunch and that's probably how we're gonna end our day we're gonna have dinner later on it's already like four four o'clock right yeah that's it While Chris is fishing, I should show you this life straw. You can drink out of the lake, which is pretty cool. Chris just broke his line, his fishing line. Want me to bring it out? I'm probably gonna jump in. He wants some fish! catch any fish and now we have no dinner it's you're out of focus now no come back come back hey no fish were caught but now pooping 101 <laughs> how to poop in a gong <laughs> make poop everybody in the club wanna first step poop. you have to everybody climb the make mountain poop. everybody going on a date make poop Everybody running like just make poop. You, you have to find a designated a spot, no preferably one that is not near your campsite. Continue. Push your fingers that you have toilet paper. If you got a shit and you're stuck in traffic, your palms will sweat and oh, yeah. your ass will twitch. And check out what Mother Nature grows naturally. Step two. Find a shovel. Sometimes I have to Step three, to dig yourself a uh. Lake poop. This song goes out to the truckers. And now and step four back. is not Lake showable, poop. but you know what it is. When the USA make poop. into our food bag Chris. That chipmunk over there almost went into our food bag. I don't think it would eat the whole thing. I think it would just go for like the peanut butter. That could have been a lot worse. First step in making dinner is getting a fire going. How to get a fire going? You gotta start chopping some wood. And then once you have fire going, you can start cooking. Shout out 
shout out to Nature for making this dinner table rock. Dish cleaning duty. Still eating. <laughs> Shout out to my mom for making that. Thanks, Mrs. Santa Rosa. Thank you. Thank you. And check out this storm that's coming that we just realized. It's nice over there. And then, raining over here. It is almost nine o'clock and it is pouring rain outside. So, hope you enjoyed episode one of Algonquin.